What's going on folks? Sun's out, guns out, palm tree in the background. We're here to talk about the Solana meme coin market. So first off, what I want to discuss is the overall markets are in a bit of consolidation at the moment. There is of course a lot of anticipation for January 10, 2024. This is single-handedly, I would almost say objectively the biggest day in not just Bitcoins, but cryptocurrencies history. Guys, I just don't think there really is enough gravity or full understanding of what this means for cryptocurrency. Folks, you need to understand if the BlackRock ETF does get approved on the 10th, as well as possibly even some others, there's going to be institutional money waiting on the sidelines. We're talking billions of dollars waiting to enter the market into Bitcoin. Now, if institutional investors want to buy Bitcoin, that means that BlackRock needs to hold some Bitcoin on the side. Company wants to buy a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. A billion dollars worth of Bitcoin needs to come out of that supply and BlackRock are going to be holding that. What does that mean? The price is going to skyrocket, okay? This price is going to skyrocket. It's gonna start off with institutions and then all the retail investors are gonna be buying up at the beginning, in the middle, and towards the end of the bull run as we approach it in 2024, a little bit more, and as it maybe ends, who knows when it's gonna end, whether it's gonna be in 2024, 2025, Folks are trying to predict what this bull run is going to be like, but again, the single-handed most bullish thing ever is about to happen in cryptocurrency if it does get approved on January 10. So what does that have to do with Solana memes? Well, when BTC pumps, guys, Solana is going to pump, all right? Solana is a top five market cap cryptocurrency, epic chain, they do NFTs, they do DeFi, meme coins, everything, guys. Solana is the shit right now. So Solana is gonna go parabolic, it's gonna pump, it's gonna 10X. And what does it mean when Solana 10Xs? Well, I'll tell you what it means. When Solana 10Xs, people that hold Solana become rich. And when people that hold Solana become rich, they feel more secure about just throwing their money into more high risk degeneracy bets. Now, what are those high risk degeneracy bets? Well, I'll give you one guess. Solana meme coins, folks. Solana meme coins, all right? Now, you need to expect, though, Solana meme coins, they're the kind of things that can go up 100% one day and down 150 the next, and then the next day up two to 300, next day down 400, then the next day up 700%. Do you understand? Doing 10 Xs, all right? I made a 12 X in six hours trading used car overnight on my first ever night trading meme coins. This is the power of meme coins, but what I need to make you understand is that if you can't hack a one to two to three to 400% drop in the price, if you can't handle being rugged on most of the tokens that you invest in, all right, if you can't handle it, then the meme coin market is not for you. So in this video, guys, we're gonna be talking about exactly what meme coins I'm trading, exactly what meme coins I'm holding on Solana and what I kind of see upcoming and everything else like that, doing that kind of analysis. Guys, I really do hope you appreciate this video. It's really been appreciating the support. Make sure if you like this content, smash the likes, smash the comments, get in the chat, all right, and let me know what's going on. What meme coins do you hold? Also, I've got a free Telegram group in the description of this video. Jump in. I've got a Twitter competition going at the moment where I'm going to be giving away some free bread. Jump into that, guys. That's going to be at the top of the description as well. Let's check it out. Okay, now, my beautiful degenerates, let's go ahead and check out these charts. So, with the BTC of the Solana meme coins, I'm absolutely loving this chart at the moment. Whiff was going through quite a bit of a hard time through this kind of area here. But since then, as we can see, we've had some really nice movement to the upside here, guys. I think Whiff is in very, very good stead to break all time highs very, very soon. We are seeing some really nice price action on Brett after that big struggle, and we are seeing more money move into Solana, more money slowly consolidating around BTC. But in that anticipation of the BTC halving, guys, I think WIF can do really, really well. Of course, WIF is just shy of 200 million market cap, so a lot of you might think, ah, oh, it's a bit too late for this coin. But you've got to understand, you're paying to get into this coin with a bit more security, all right? WIF is far less likely to be a rug pull than any of these other meme projects that are coming out that have just been around for one or two days. And also understand that a project like Pepe, for example, at around 500 million market cap, guys, if WIF was to 2x from now to 100% in value, it would still be 400 million market cap, 100 million market cap less than Pepe. And then to go on from that, Bonk is also double the market cap of Pepe being thereabouts around 1 billion. All right, give or take, Pepe being 500 million market cap. And I'm gonna make this call right now, guys. I honestly do see WIF competing with a token like Pepe 
honestly, I think this definitely has at least another 200 million in market cap to go. So at least another 100% in value to increase. And if we actually go and take a look at its all time high approximately from here, it's down just 40% guys just 40 percent down from that all-time high i think it achieves that in pretty good stead and of course guys the token that we all love brett brett is my favorite meme in the solana meme token space and also an absolutely beautiful chart and let me tell you why it is respecting these upwards trend lines here very very nicely we have not broken below this upwards trending level of support. Of course, up here, we had this breakout very quickly through a very important resistance level, all right? But in my opinion, when it broke through here, this breakthrough happened very rapidly, okay? As we can see here, it struggled on around the 19th of December to break through. It struggled a second time around the 22nd, okay? A couple days later, there is clearly some obvious resistance around these two points here. Finally, on that third attempt, yes, we broke through in a ridiculous way. We did a 2x, met the top, and after we hit that top, we had a huge retracement on bread. If we write that out there, we looked at about a 74% retracement, as you can see there. But since that retracement, guys, it's been doing pretty well. As I said, respecting the trend line, and as of today's price, up 81%, guys. 81% if I just mark it about about there call it 79% from the low okay now Brett's a good one guys the memes awesome I love the meme I love the community takeover I love the fact that it was cheated and the community got behind it and it actually had a pump after the cheat which might have been around here or here I can't really remember but it was one of those two lows this is a project guys, honestly these videos are not financial advice, but if you're looking at getting into a position into Brett, honestly, this is really the time. I'm trading Brett, I'm holding Brett for the long term. I'm also trading WIF and holding WIF for the long term. These are two tokens I feel very secure in, but the key differences here are that Brett is so low market cap. Guys, this is crazy. Brett is 1 million market cap guys, let that sink in for a moment. Brett is 1 million market cap guys. Listen, WIF is 200 million market cap. WIF is 200 million times more than Brett. Do you understand? So theoretically, Brett is a 200x, a 200x off WIF. And imagine Brett just does a 50x, a 50x, a quarter of that. That would still be absolutely huge. And honestly, a chart in such infancy, this is a really respectable chart, guys. You can't deny it. And the third token has just absolutely shattered all-time high as we can see here this is absolutely parabolic now i have to admit i'm in this on a trade now on the Solbot, guys if you're not signed up for Solbot, go to the description of this video get signed up if you're not in my telegram go to my telegram get signed up it's free follow me on twitter because i make calls on there and guys i called this guys i called this on brett i'm gonna, gonna probably have to update that in my telegram pretty soon but guys there is something about this used car meme which just if you have been following this channel for a while You'll know that less than a week ago, I made a 12x on my first night trading used car. I traded it, sold out, took my profits, had a little bit invested. I was out of it for like a few days. And then I just decided, you know what? This is a project that I kind of like. They set up their Twitter and I just thought to myself, do you know what? This is a good meme. Used car. They got the Doja in the car, the Honda Civic vibes. Man, this is unique. I don't know why, but I just have a feeling people are just going to keep buying this and holding it. And clearly... That is what's happening right now because I think used car is the talk of the town right now. I'm very happy to have just actually invested a bit in used car. I think I probably made just about $300 in like the last eight hours on it because it's literally just gone up. Yeah, wow. 52% in the last eight hours. So guys, the meme is awesome. The chart looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I thought that used car around this point here, it was looking like maybe a slow rug. But then all of a sudden out of nowhere, we had this parabolic rise up. Parabolic rise up, okay, and then we hit a bit of a downtrend, hit a bit of a downtrend, up and down, and all of a sudden, yeah, it's probably a rug, and then do you know what? Nah, that ain't a rug, man. That's coming back, coming back in a really, really hard way. The market cap is over 4 million, so still really, really low. Again, let me remind you guys, with it's a 200 million market cap. This is definitely a project used car that can definitely get up to the market cap of WIF. If I'm thinking logically, used car might even have more potential than Brett. But if I'm thinking emotionally, 
I just love Brett. I don't know, Brett's such a good meme. But guys, used car, I've got full conviction on holding and trading, as well as the other two Bretton with. All right, then we go ahead and have a look at Ponke, guys. So I never had a huge holly in Ponke because I did think it was very risky from the start. It's still just shy of a 10 million market cap, and this did look like at some point that it was gonna be a slow rug, okay? The bottom was clearly in here, and then since those kind of two bottoms there, we have had a bit of an increase of approximately 84%, okay? Call it 92%, which is pretty good, okay? So 92% bounce from these lows here, very acceptable, all right? At one point, we even had a bit more than that, I reckon. I reckon it was probably around, yeah, 221% there from top to bottom, okay? So 2.2x, really, really good in just such a short space of time as well, just quite honestly, a few hours. Now again, guys, with Ponke, love the meme in a similar way to Brett. Such an awesome meme, awesome community, pretty high market cap, all right? I mean, if you can call 10 million low, all right? But still like 20 times smaller than with as well, okay? So I do think this has potential, but it really needs to, it's got a long way to go, guys. It's got a long way to go before it hits that all-time high. I mean, if we have a look at that all-time high there to the price we are at now, that is a 75% from that all-time high, okay? So very achievable, still holding a small bag of this, okay? Still trading a tiny bit, but I'm not looking to get into this position any more than what I already am. And the next one is the ST bot play, guys. I did invest a bit of money in this one just for long-term, not trading this one. I made a bit of money trading it early on. This is a utility play. Solbot is trying to be like the number one trading bot on Solana. So for that reason alone, I feel like it's a pretty cool utility play and I'm investing in this one for the long term. Long term, I'm talking like at least three months. SIF guys, not really much to say about this one. The price action has been so boring. You know, I've probably got about $20 left of this. I invested high and got burnt on this one bad. Do I think this one can come back? I think the community is proving to be pretty strong, all right? It's sitting under just 1 million market cap. I'm not giving up on it. I'm holding it. I'll keep reporting on it because yeah, there's just a community buzz, but I'm definitely not adding more to my position. And the last one I want to check out, guys, is Popo. Very aggressive chart in terms of volume. I'm at a slight loss on this one as well. Not trading this one, but holding for the long term. The community seems really good. The Popo meme is pretty cool. It is kind of like a derivative of Pepe, which I love. I do hold the Pepe coin on ETH. So who knows, guys? Long term hold. We'll see what the future holds. All right, guys. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoy these meme videos, please do smash that like button. Subscribe to this channel. Make sure you turn the notification bells on and let me know in the comments what memes you're holding and what meme coins you would like to me to talk about in future videos. This is a little competition I got running here as well, guys. Hey, guys, to say thanks, I'm doing a little Brett giveaway. You just got to follow me on X, like, retweet this tweet and tag one friend and comment your favorite meme coin and why in the comments. And you can go in the running to win some free Brett. I'm going to be trying to give that out on live stream, but got pretty bad internet at the moment for some reason. So if that doesn't work, then I'm just going to make a video and do like a random, random like uh, generation wheel thing and just shout it out out of the people who commented, guys. Um, so yeah, that's it, guys. Take care. Peace.